can just kind of ignore those. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Jake plays a very uh, blunt kind of Steve with a with a lot more minecarts, a lot more uh, diamond utilization, and things of that nature. So they don't struggle with much with characters like uh, Yoshi, but they'll struggle a lot more with uh, Sephiroth, for instance. Yeah. Why do has shown flexibility, but has also shown a over reliance on blocks. And Hero doesn't give a good does stuff care, and care does about them. Destroying blocks is very, very easy for Hero to do in all shapes and sizes. And the, fun, the beautiful part about Hero is that he, he doesn't have to really engage with the blocks uh, physically. He has Zappo as his pose, which goes right through the blocks, as we yes. saw earlier. And it just renders Waidu a little bit uh, in, more, uh, in a more scary situation against this ma against this, this character. Hero does not have to actually engage with your blocks. You cannot set up the way that you're comfortable setting up against someone maybe like like Numbers or like Dill. They had the footstool out of shield, but then do, didn't have any iron. Oh, that's so tragic to get the thing that you prepare for and then just not have the materials in order to utilize it. That's kind of been something we've seen Waidu ha happen with Waidu a couple of times mm -hmm. even, where just they couldn't, they, they, they didn't have the iron in order to actually make do on the good thing that they did. There it Ooh, is. Psycho Buff Tilt. Absolutely fishing for something, either a, a possible shoe break if you're off of a down air, or just trying to get a really good uh, up tilt. Now here's Bounce active. You can do minecart. Your down smash is, in, is, is dumb. Your down tilt can do nothing. Your up tilt can do any. I'm sorry, your up smash can do anything. It's funny. Oh. It's hilarious. It is very funny to watch a character get neutered like that. Only for a couple sec. Only for like 20 seconds at a time, though. Mm -hmm. and not not too long. It has to yeah. render them uh, more in use with their hopefully their diamond tools that they have right. by now. Um, otherwise, oh, if they you're on my card, they, I mean, why do you been sitting at wood tools? The heels online, like Vivi just controlling center, forcing why do that? Oh, the hitbox nice. extension on the crafting table to catch the neutral get up with that forward tilt one, super clean. And also decide to lay off for the the second hit of F tilt. Oh, love to see it. Just to hopefully you know, account for any re-grab on ledge or anything like that. And unfortunately, Crack Table was like, hey, I'm going to just hey, I'm give them this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn all your moves meaty. But like, okay. <laughs> meaty. Yeah. Meaty F2. Meaty so they're uh, once, once again active. A little bit of uh, charging off the of regular uh, B. And here we go. Fizzle doing nothing. Zap just obliter obliterating those blocks. VV playing a little bit too aggressively now that they they are in fact in the lead. There's no really big need to be the oppressor against a matchup. You're basically plus one and plus two in. Oh, the kaboom hitting around the blocks as well. Bounces online. This is psych up as well. So uh, I don't think in psych up, up throw takes it, but maybe an up tilt here or a fair. Not quite. Not enough. Uh, just without the rage, it's not going to kill from center like that. But at 130, that Zapple will certainly do so. And Vivi looking just so in control of that matchup. Like, Waidu wasn't able to really set up the defensive measures or set up the the obstacle course that he's forcing, that he wants to force his opponent to go through to reach him. Vivi had Zapples, had Kabooms, had ways to not only just remove them, but also pierce straight through them. I once again just want to compliment the use of delaying the first, the second hit of F-Tilt, because on that last uh, replay right before the next game, you saw Vivi use a forward hit of F-Tilt, and I believe why do you either jumped away or, or, I don't know, rolled through Vivi, and Vivi took the opportunity, jump, react, and that's where that uh, fair came in to take that, that uh, game for Vivi. So it's just the... the the awareness of our players that we see. It's, it's, I love watching it. It's just like the little yes. things you, might, you, you see. Uh, Steve, really, both Steve and Hero will very much challenge your situational awareness, mm -hmm. which is a skill set that some characters, well, that everything will, every game will always test, but it's a different, uh, it's more stressed in these, uh, with these two characters. Still, I like the pick of Town and City here. Town and City largely is one of those like bipolar uh, kind of stage for Steve, where they love the layout because they like to do that. But you're the getting resources. mostly wood, mm -hmm. which is going to hurt your access to diamonds, not necessarily iron, but it will absolutely hurt your access to diamond and gold and uh, and redstone technically. Yep. Um, for 
which will shut down some of the bigger explosiveness. But, you know, iron is still pretty good to have, and you will eventually get those diamonds on hand. <gasps> okay, VV. Okay. VV here <laughs> chasing the air with Hero up air. You love to see on TNC. Like I was going to say, on TNC, is also a really good stage for Hero. Honestly, one of the most preferred picks for like, across the board with the uh, Hero mains. Um, just because the flexibility it has with something like Accelerado. Oh, up in the break, the crafting table. Which is what I personally will always do against Steve. You don't want them to have any access to even building anything with Diamond that they have at their disposal right now. Oh, oh but why do decided to chase instead mm -hmm. with that dash attack and didn't reach? Massively punished. They're still sitting at wood tools, which isn't inherently a bad thing, but then can definitely get more and more stressful choosing to build that diamond once they're out, once Vivi got out of the uh, the crazy combo range. And now you're just sitting at the, the normal -ish combo range where you're looking at like up tilt up smashes or up tilt back airs yep. instead of, uh, you know, these crazy fair loops or uh, nil extensions. And Wait. now we're waiting, uh, we're finally waiting out these bounces. Only takes about 12 seconds for the, for the um, effect to dissipate. Oh, Zap! Just just stuffing out the uh, the the S smash right there. Oh, and beating out Minecart mm -hmm. as well. Vivi going for it all. Yet, no dice, and both characters are back in, uh, just back on stage, back yep. in the fold without much dilemma. Interesting use of the anvil there, trying I to get. I didn't mention that, yeah. Yeah, I think he was trying to mine on top of it to get multiple iron in a row, just kind of turn one iron into three, but Vivi snuffed that out with his uh with their just extremely in well played mid-range approach right now just constantly threatening why do space constantly threatening blocks and powering right through that up smash it counts as an item which means you can clank with it and just sh power straight through it it's a block, <laughs> it's, a block. It's, it's a block break it it's a block not literally but i think just the, the sheer power of psych up in that moment just gave, gave here that that momentum to just bye Bye, Steve. You're stuck in this animation for a very long time. And now we have a uh, oh. platform less I lie. We have platform full set up right now. Three platforms at our disposal. Not getting anything off the S smash and jab three. Uh, jab one, two, three, taking good amount of percentage. And also just re stancing them a little bit um, or repositioning the characters a little bit. Serato so kind of stuffing out there. My car and are you serious? I respect the gamble though, because if you funny. get that fair out, it clanks with the minecart. Oh, hello! The, the way that Y dude backed up <laughs> immediately, <laughs> like, yo, what's this? But he used all his Windex for that, and now mm -hmm. Y dude is just storming back here with these diamond yeah. tools, and you're gone. You I'll burned all of your mana mm -hmm. on one big magic burst, thinking, yep, if this lands, it's gone. And then suddenly, without all, just you're ooming around, and why do had diamond tools to put put you to 60 real quick, cover that space, get us a nice reflect off the block, and read an air dodge. Boom, 104 after the hit, not even close. I just love the way that Steven and Hero just mimic each other a little bit too well when it comes to resource management. You saw the way that Waidu starts to fumble the bag a little bit when they are just very low on iron, very low on all the resources in general. No, lack of diamond, lack of, of gold as well. And you saw the same thing with Hero once Vivi did use Magic Burst, which of course, the more MP you use, the stronger the move and bigger the move is. However, you are MP-less. You don't even have anything for... All you have is Kamikaze at that point. Yeah. That's literally all you have MP for. And... Yep. You saw that why you took advantage of that resources situation and just that game two was theirs. Uh-oh, just walked straight in with these up tilts, but oh, oh no. the change up on SDI was super sick from VV. Like not just holding away from Steve because they can follow that super easily. You need to try and go back and forth a little bit to try and force Waidu to be in a very, very steady to be active with his combos mm -hmm. instead of just autopiloting them. Which can be big for uh, for defensive play while you're getting hit. Oh, hello. <sighs> like like the the jerk I have my whole body when I see through. <laughs> I, I get like so excited and then I just it's every tense. time. It's tension inducing. It's like oh, but it, yes, but then no, but then uh, yes. Was, uh, okay, it landed tails. <laughs> 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 oh, but there's psych up up to almost taking the stock here. Why do still sitting at just very low resources, but able to convert a little bit of a combo into that, doing so much damage thus far. But here, just oh my god, yeah, zoom. zoom in around the stage, faster than Sonic when Accelerator is active, of course. And once it's, once it's gone, Hero is back to just having to really fish for it once again. And Vivi getting it off of the first pull of menu. 
that's just that's just how how cracked VV's RNG is. That, that's all I gotta say. The RNG go dummy, in my opinion. Like skill issue, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, skill issue. <laughs> Tip it, get better RNG, like. <laughs> Oh, but I like VV's patience in the corner there, seeing double back air into dash back forward smash, and VV just didn't blink. Just like, all right, I'm gonna just use this space, use the space that you give me, and not interacting with the block there as well, trying just to find their opening here. You know VV wants an up tilt, but you know that they have to land in order to do so, and um, why do this is all over them with some, some of this frame data. That back air would have taken the stock, but that, this forward throw doesn't, deciding to go for forward instead of up throw. That's so awkward. <laughs> that was a little awkward. Yeah. That's like, that's that's like the throw. And like, up throw. Yeah. Like, that's the one. Psych up and up throw, but no. But no. no. Not, not, not today. And they're getting pretty... There it, there, is. It is, there it is. They were getting punished for their, uh, for their the insolence. But the up throw comes in, close out the stock, and then the steam combo comes in, flipping back and forth between that SDI and still converting into 60. The active combos from Waidu are in turn the roll reads are there and the i just love this this change in, in character from why do literally the play, the way they're playing is way more suited to counter how hero wants to play rather than how we saw why do against like numbers earlier or against dill you know they're opting they're they're being very smart watching when bounce is active or Colorado and just kind of waiting it out using their, their normals as often as they can and then using a scoop of up smash to keep vv out of the air where they're where they're comfortable you know it's, it's a very good game that YG is playing right now, and these also the, the, the bait that they choose to throw on Minecart, however, not actually follow it, and opting for jumping in and for and, and using fair. Right. It's just a lot of smart moves are being made here. Oh, but that's the another third up smash. smash. Yeah, they, these up smashes are so clutch from Waidu, who just is able to take over this game right now, and the 25% off of that forward smash, oh, it is building up and look at the materials they have as well there's not even lines between the iron there's nothing yeah. it's just there's and a lot of iron at disposal yeah. right now you have dirt blocks for easy access to quick block material you have wood for that little uh, for that level up plenty of iron diamond for days i think this is that's that's just one diamond but at very least guarantees you a refresh midway through to your next diamond that's and it. No, you're fine Not at least it, but for like, the moment, but that's it. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> it in terms of like stock, but that little wall barricaded both themselves, but your only option is either Zapple or coming <laughs> Zapple. <laughs> Zapple. The better option. Uh, or jumping in with a the a dinner that wouldn't have broken shield. It's only yeah. oomph active. If you have oomph and psych up, however, that's a shield breaker. That's right. a free stock. Hopefully. Yeah. Let's let me let's check this out again. Yeah. Because like we get to see this situation, right? And VV low mana, which means Zapple is offline. Yep. So uh, multiple block structures. Multiple three walls. Them. Three yeah. three of them, thanks. And we get to You you better not make loss. <laughs> Right. No, we're not doing that. I'm about to make a I was gonna, right here. I was we gonna. We could have. <laughs> but right under his I, nose. I was just like right under his nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this kind of spot, BB has exactly like, if you're trying to approach, you have. If you're trying to approach like hard aggressively, sure, this jump in works. Yep. But when you're complain, when you're playing against Steve, one of the easiest thing, one of the day one things is like place blocks, opponent jumps, up smash it. And that's exactly what happens. But BB and Hero has all of the means to go through these blocks, even with just his tilts. And mm -hmm. you have Accelerado online to blow through them with relative speed. Or maybe you decide to jump and get right here. There's a lot of different potentialities in this layout right here. And BB basically picks the most risky one and loses for it, as, he sh as they should. But it's it's hard to not try and take that gamble when you are down as big as they are right now. Yeah, I agree. Like, I unfortunately it was oomph at being active, right. and it was tons of shield damage as you saw that shield went down to like see his body. But unfortunately, it wasn't the shield break that Vivi was like looking for. Hopefully, they they were probably thinking maybe I'll get a shield break off of this dare with this other also being active alongside the oomph. There is just no psych up to really solidify that shield break that they're like looking for. Yeah. I I think that you're right. We've an option of going to that first little area before where Steve was, the little block like you no, know, the other space. Right. 
and just opting for Eve because you, you, you can break the, that that first block in the floor and go right through it, you know. Right. And it, there's uh, a lot of options, but the riskiest one, in order for like the easiest payoff, being coming in with a dare, hopefully for a show break. I I see it. 